This is Diana Barnes with Indie News at Noon. We are here at the Jamie Alamarad Creeping Up On Me video release party. It's, it's insane. It's great. It's beautifully decorated. The food is fabulous. The people are amazing. I'm going to bring you all the latest scoop, everything he's into. Talk to the actors. I talked to his music teacher already. We have tons, tons for you to hear. So stay tuned. I spoke with Jamie's early music teacher, Mr. Pyle, and some of Jamie's students and friends to get an idea of how he has paid it forward. This is Mr. Pyle, Jamie Amarad's elementary school music teacher. Yes, I teach at Carson School here in Harrison, and uh, Jamie came to me when he was about, oh, maybe five years old. He was a tiny little guy. And, but what a talented little boy he was. It was so clear that he was a precocious uh, child and uh, musically gifted. And he comes from a musical family, too, so the whole, everything fit. So I suggested to Jamie that he take lessons uh, when he was in about third grade, and he started taking private lessons. He started, studied piano. Um, he studied piano with me uh, for oh, a few years. He, he was a star in our little productions in elementary school, and that continued right through our school system here in Harrison. He, was, uh, he did the high school musicals, and he was, he was a star, and he was known pretty much throughout the county as a, as a real bright talent. I love Jamie's music, and I like the way he teaches everybody because he's very nice to us, and he gives us helpful information about what we're trying to accomplish. Well, basically, I'm just learning how to, like, get better at, like, the high notes and just to, like, fix it up a little bit. You should look for a teacher who actually, like, has experience with other children and has done some performances before instead of just coming out and saying that they're a music teacher. He's a really good singer and he's really funny and he's all full of like life and he's really enthusiastic about it. We also had the chance to speak with some of Jamie's friends and family during the event. I've known Jamie since my freshman year of high school. He was one of the first people I met when I moved to Harrison. Great guy then and great guy now. Jamie's been lying to everybody. I'm his only childhood friend. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I moved here in second grade. Jamie had a little desk right next to me. And he was my first, the first person I met in America, believe it or not. I met Jamie one day when my mom was going to Pepsi because we couldn't have our dad take care of us. Okay. And later on, I saw Jamie and we became very great friends. And sometimes we go over to Dunkin' in Dunkin' Donuts. I was happy to be there at the beginning. <laughs> well, it's uh, been one of the joyous, most joyous rides any mother could ever imagine. I mean, Jamie's been fabulous since the day he was born. Up until adulthood, I, you know, he never gave us any trouble. He was a wonderful kid. He's very talented. He's very happy. So he's been a huge blessing in our lives. Music's awesome. I didn't even know he was a musician. Um, he was singing the national anthem for the Boston Red Sox, and he couldn't make it to Uncle Henry's one day that he was supposed to come in. And I said, why? He said, because he's a musician, and ever since then I've been following him, YouTube, Facebook, everything. He's awesome. I'm very proud of him. I wish him all the success in the world. His music sounds great. I'm really excited to check out this music video that's coming out. Uh, Jamie gave me the call. He had a photo shoot to do. And then he's like, yeah, I need a really cool, classy-looking guitar. And I'm like, what's it about? He goes, well, you know, uh, you know, nice ties, shirts, black and white. And I'm like, okay, so we got to go towards uh, John Varvatos. Did you think of the video? I loved it. You know, I've I kind of been involved watching it since it started and um, since the inception. I like the idea. I like the the fact that he used all local people, his friends from high school, Taekwondo, and people that were involved in his life all along. So it's it's fun. It's fun, and I'm, I'm really happy for him. It's awesome. I love, I love it. Before we show you a clip of Jamie's video, let's speak with Jamie and Jenna about the music video and those that attended the premiere event. It's great because, as I said, I've known him since he was tiny, and it's just to see him grow over the years, it's, it's just his ability and his skills and his talent just blossomed. I think every child should follow their dream, absolutely. And if you see that they're taking a path that they should be taking, then you should encourage them. I mean, I always felt if this wasn't the lifestyle he should lead, 
we would have told him, but my husband and I both feel he's very talented and he should pursue this, this path. Uh, hey, Jamie, congratulations with your music video. I'm very excited to see it. It was a lot of fun. We had a great time shooting at my house. I was really happy to help out Jamie, and I've always done a lot of shows with him, and it was a really great time doing the video together, and then really excited to see how it turned out. And I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, best of luck. Um, the video is called Crawling Back to Me by Jamie Ali Murad, and um, I am the crazy ex-girlfriend, but really great to be on set, and we, we collaborated a lot together on set because, you know, he told, when, when I was doing the video, he told, I was like, what am I supposed to wear? And he's like, just bring some casual summer clothes, and then all of a sudden it turned into me disguising myself, climbing, like, crawling into a party, and so it's a good thing that I go up to Boston all the time because I had fedoras in my car, sunglasses, so it ended up just being like an we on the found spot. each other because we're both from Westchester, and um, so we friended each other because we're both going to Northeastern, so we knew each other before college, and then we kind of kept in touch through college, and then um, after that, I ran into him as I was, I was a waitress at a restaurant in White Plains, and I saw him and his mom, and we both recognized each other, and he said, are you still acting? And I said, yes, and I said, are you still doing music? And he said, yes, and then we kind of just kept in touch and started collaborating, so. Finally, finally, after all night, got Jamie Allen Murad here. This video was insane. It was the best. Tell us about it. We had a lot of fun filming it. It's based on a crazy ex-girlfriend and the premise of the video kind of goes along with the lyric a little bit but she has camped out on my front lawn for who knows how long she's been there and she sees that I'm throwing a pool party so she's trying to get into this pool party but she doesn't know I've set up security and then she has to try and get past them and hilarity ensues the guy with the hammer was crazy oh yeah watch out for him don't mess so with when does it come out how can people find it it's coming out in a couple of weeks either on March 18th or March 25th we're still trying to figure out some of the 25th yeah we're still marching uh, we're still trying to figure out some of those details right there but it will be on YouTube and we're trying to get some special sneak peeks going on a couple of other outlets so we're trying to see what's uh, stay tuned we're gonna have a sneak wink, peek wink <laughs> Absolutely. We get the exclusive yeah, sneak exactly, peek. Exactly. So what advice would you give other young up-and-coming artists? Because you put a lot of work in, dude. You just had this amazing video. What was the last one? Uh, I did Beautiful was the first one. Yeah, and how, how many views? We got over a million? Almost two million views. Insane, isn't it? I know I tweeted it a few times. Yeah, I mean, that, that was such a small operation compared to this one. It was four people, two actors, um, and a, a two-man crew. And we just went around New York City just walking around filming a day together like a but your video was very DIY do, oh, yeah. do it yourself yep. what would you tell somebody else that can really do a video at your friend's house you know <laughs> yeah well I would say if you have a vision and a dream that you should follow it and uh, the passion will win out you know it just follow your heart stay true to yourself and put in a lot of work it's a lot of hard work and there are easy days and there are not so easy days and those not so easy days will make you stronger and if you really want it that bad, you'll get success. And uh, it's a wild ride. Just but you know what I got away with tonight? I got a, a really good feeling. You are very well loved and very well re respected. You have a lot of support. Uh, I do. I have a great family, a great group of friends. I mean, this is my hometown. It's so great to be back and to be sharing it with everyone that has played a huge part of my life. And um, I, I couldn't imagine it any other way to show Crawling Back to Me. We filmed it here. The cast and crew is from here. We had to show it here. Absolutely. And so happy that it had a great reception and how it came So out. what's next? I know a tour. You're on the road in like well, two, three days. Yeah, I'm going on the road in a couple of days starting in Detroit. And I'll be making my way out west. Uh, we'll be settling in Los Angeles in the middle of March and filming another music video for That's What She Said, which I'm really excited about. Oh, can't wait for that one. That one's going to be pretty wild. And um, rehearsing for a new album. Yeah. There's, um, how long is this tour? I'm actually not performing live. There might be some in-studio appearances. Okay, cool. Those are fun. This is just going to be prep for the album and the new video and uh, promoting Crawling Back to Me. So we're pounding the pavement for this one. But that's what you have to do, right? Exactly. That's what you have to do. I'm really excited. I, I've been mainly a bi-coastal artist, going from the East Coast, Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, into the Southwest and Pacific Northwest. So for the first time, I'm hitting the Midwest. And uh, we'll be in Michigan and Minnesota and Iowa. And uh, I'm excited to see what comes up there. Wow, that's so cool for your yeah. fans that you got them all over like yeah. that. And we're working on a summer tour. Okay, so what are you thinking for the summer tour? Uh, all over the place. Wow, that sounds like fun. 
So we're going to have to get some behind the scenes, on the tour bus, backstage, all the nitty gritty stuff. Everything's going to be on Indie News at Noon. Like, come Hello. On. Exactly. Hello, duh. Come on. So. Exactly. Oh, that's right. Richard said you have to give him a shout out. So Mark from Butterfly. Oh, Rich and Mark, what up, guys? I miss you. You got to play, like, my music more. Like, I know you play it a lot, but you can play it more because it's really good. You should do that. And I just had this whole big thing about my music, so you should probably, like, play it more. Like, do that. Okay, love you guys. Yeah, we'll send him an invoice Monday. Nice. Good. Well, this has been amazing. I can't wait to talk to you. Just so you guys know, we're going to be following him while he's on the road. So we're excited. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great ride. Plenty of room on the bandwagon. Hop Absolutely. On. Don't forget, check out his video. And now, the INN exclusive, a clip from Jamie's music video, Calling Back to Me. Stop faking pregnancies to get with me. I won't go back.